Hey everyone and welcome to Design University, a channel made for kids, teens, or just beginners who want to learn how to edit. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an awesome subscribe button for your YouTube channel inside of After Effects. This will be an easy tutorial so anyone can learn how to do this. It's not too hard and it takes about 5 minutes to make. So anyways, let's get started. 3, 2, 1, let's edit. Alright everyone, so welcome back to Design University. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this in the future. So, let's hop into After Effects. So now once you're in After Effects, you're just going to want to click the blue button that says New Project. From there, just click on this button that says New Composition and name it whatever you want. I'm going to be naming it Subscribe. Next, make it 1920 by 1080 ratio, 60 frames per second, and let's make it 7 seconds with a black background. Okay, okay. Next, you're going to want to make a new shape click on this rectangle tool make a new shape we're going to be doing something that looks like that then under the rectangles property click on this arrow down and then this arrow next to the rectangle path one and then move the roundness to somewhere about 140 so now you can see we have this nice shape right here now to make this white what i like to do is go to effects and presets and then search Fill. So next you can see this fill under the generate just make sure to drag that on top next make this whatever color you want I'm gonna be going for just plain white So now you can see that we have a white rounded rectangle to see it better You can click this button to toggle off and on transparency and if you go to the line tab You can click this button to center it so we're gonna be trying to do a nice zoom in transition So to do this click on this drop down menu and then go to size So go to somewhere about 15 to 30 frames and click the size keyframe then go to the very beginning and set it to zero so now you can see you get something like this so you can see it's not very smooth right now so all you have to do is just highlight both of the keyframes right click on it keyframe assist and easy ease in you can see this makes it look a lot cleaner and if we want to take it a step further click on this button this is the graphs menu so what you're going to want to do here is click on this bottom node and drag it in so this is basically a visual graph of your animation you can see that it starts off fast and ends slow you can just go ahead and mess around with these graphs a little bit i'm going to be doing something like this so that looks really good so now we're going to be adding some text so just click on this T right here for the text tool and let's write out some text. I'm going to just be writing subscribe. And you should do this in all caps. Then from here click on this button and make it a red. Then change the font to whatever you want. And I'll leave a website in the description for a bunch of fonts like this. Hold shift and scale it down. So next highlight both of these layers and then you can click align. So far we have this but then we're gonna want to match the text with the shape so what you're gonna want to do on the shape layer is click this drop down menu contents rectangle one and rectangle path one you can see both of these keyframes then you're just gonna want to click the s key on the subscribe layer and hit that keyframe then go to the very beginning and then set it to zero and the same process for the bottom highlight both of these keyframes keyframe assistant easy ease in then let's go back to our graphs and let's make this something like that and if you have the same issue where it's not centered what you're gonna want to do is go back to the graphs on these two keyframes and just mess around with these graphs so that looks pretty good. So what you're going to want to do after you have something that looks like this is you're going to want to add a mouse cursor that actually clicks on this and changes the text to subscribe. So to do that, import a picture of a mouse cursor. I'll have one in the description for you to use. So just import your mouse cursor. Remember to get in the description below. Let's just click S on that layer and change the scale to 30. So let's put this off screen for now somewhere on the right corner. Now click this drop down arrow right here and bring up the transform keyframes. So go to part where it's showing for about a second and then click the position, scale, and rotation keyframes. Then move about three spaces outward and move it up. So we're going to want to move it to somewhere about right here, somewhere where the text is still visible and it looks like it's clicking it. So we have something like that. Again, highlight all of them, right click, keyframe assist, and easy ease in. And we can actually just delete that rotation keyframe since we don't need that. And then we can highlight all of them, and then again with the graphs, move it in. So now to get that clicking effect, go to your last keyframe and move about three spaces outward. Click this keyframe for the scale. Next, move two spaces outward again. Make the size about 22, we'll say. Move two spaces out again, and then make this 
30 again. So now you can see we have a clicking effect. Again, mess around the keyframe so it's not as fast. And then once it clicked it, we're going to want to make it just go back down again. So click on this keyframe on the position. Move about three spaces outward. And then let's just make it go down another thing you might be wondering is when it's gonna say subscribe so to do that go to when the mouse clicks it and then you're just gonna want to hide this for now and then click this arrow on the text next what you're gonna want to do is click on the text drop down menu and close the transform one like this now click on the keyframe source text let's actually click on the s key for the mouse to see when it clicks so now move the source text keyframe to the beginning to match up these keyframes next on source text let's double click on this text and then make it say subscribe let's also bring up the scale properties on the subscribe by clicking s click a keyframe and then when it says subscribe you're gonna want to make it about 50 and then let's highlight all these keyframes right click and then click assistant easy ease in and after that to finish it off let's right click on an empty space right here go to new and then no object so a no object is basically an item that controls multiple different layers just resize it to the same size as your bubble right here and then you'll see these little squiggly lines just go to the subscribe and connect this squiggly line to the layer as well as the shape so once you have your no object all set up, click on the keyframe position and then move a few frames right and then lower all the way down. Then right click on the keyframes and then keyframe assistant and then easy ease out. So at the end it should look something like this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you make sure to subscribe and like. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.